Are your sugar snap peas being eaten by critters? Well, I've got the solution for you. I have finally figured it out. I was losing over half my sugar snap pea seeds by chipmunks digging them out. I'm pretty sure it's chipmunks because they dig little hole right next to it. Let me show you what happens. I actually don't have a picture of it because I got so mad. I wanted to throw the whole garden out. I was so mad at them last week. But let me tell you what happens. is you, When you plant for sugar snap peas, you do, they're just peas, little small peas. So let's say I put in a pea right here and I buried it a half inch deep and I wait five, seven, ten days and I start to see this little seedling come up right and I'm so excited and then one day I come out and half of them are gone mind you this happened to me last year too but I couldn't figure out what was doing it or what to do but this year I got really clear on it because what they do is they pull up the seed but they don't like the seedling like the little green part on top they don't like this and they leave the little seedlings laying on the dirt and then the seed the, the uh, root is about two inches long and they leave the this long white root laying on the dirt, but they eat the pea because it's swollen in size about four times bigger than the original pea. And I guess it's really delicious. And so they and they kind of dig a little hole. So I'm just pretty sure it's not birds like some people think. I'm pretty sure for me it's chippies. So anyway, I come out and there's like devastation. All these little seedlings laying there, all these little roots laying there and little holes where they dug up the seeds. So this pot here... Um, has been a total success. Every single pea that I put in came up using this method. I'm going to show you in two seconds. Okay, and these are about, I want to say, two weeks old. And what I do is I do all my snap peas next to the fence. So I'll train it, you know, over here and the little tentacles will start to reach out and they'll grab totally onto this fence and grow up the fence. Worked really well last year for the ones that, that lived. Okay, so now we're going to come over here and I'll show you my solution. Plastic cups. Okay, but let me tell you how I do it. I drill two holes in the bottom. I had these left over from seedlings already. That one's just got one, that one's got none. But in general, definitely put holes in so you can get rain and air circulation in there. So what I do is I just push my finger down in, put the seed in, cover it with dirt, and I put two seeds per cup, okay? On some of them. Some of them I just put one because I wasn't sure if they would fit under the cup. And then I just kind of push it down in the soil. And I've, been, I've had these this way for over two weeks. And I have not removed them yet. You're going to see the original um, removing of the cups right this minute uh, because I can tell they're about to turn the cups upside down. They're so full. And I come and check them every day, of course. And I water. I just spray with the cups on. I don't lift them up in water. And then the water just absorbs under the cup. So it's worked perfectly. So let's look at them. Okay. They're gorgeous. Look at that one. There's two there. Now that one's really full. That one, I remember I did, I alternated. I just did one, two, one, two on this one. Oh no, that one's got, a, I must have buried that one too deep. That's got a little teeny baby there. Okay, let's look. That one's got two completely healthy. They're actually a little stunted because they hit the cup because I was waiting till I had my camera with you to do the video. There's two. There are two. And two. And, oh! We got one that didn't make it. Or maybe we didn't plant the seed there, and I thought I did. But, oh, really, really good success rate. Super pleased with that. Again, always by the fence so I can trellis it. And I have conquered the chippies. They are not getting my sugar, sugar snap peas. And I'm sure this would work for snow peas, too, um, forever. So go down in the comment section and let me know. Do you have this problem of I'm the only person who has chipmunks that dig up the seeds, leave the roots, and leave the sproutlings or seedlings? Um, if you have this happen, what do you do? And do you like this method? Do you think you'll use it? And we'd sure all like to hear if you have a better method to protect your little seeds so they can grow into gorgeous seedlings like these. Because I love sugar snap peas. All right. Thank you so much for being with me. I will see you on the next video. Thumbs up is always appreciated. It lets me know I'm on the right track with you. And share it with your friends. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Sending you much love. As always, this is Cheryl. Bye-bye.